I'm talking about Queenie. I'm talking about Blanche. I'm talking about Gladys. Even Sprocket. I don't know what's behind that suit. <laughs> and their noses are so long. I mean, it's longer than I've played the game. We're talking about it just goes the distance. Hercules thought he was singing that about himself. I can go the distance, but it was actually about Antonio and Snooty. What is with you, Gemma? Have y'all seen Deirdre? Have you seen Fuchsia? Fuchsia is the girl that you don't want your son to ever get too close to because it's going to end in something terrible. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Have you seen Monique? Ugh. Nibbles is the kind of girl to take a freaking Sharpie and draw a circle on her face and be like, I love you, I promise. Ladies and gentlemen, it's your captain speaking. Please buckle your seatbelts because we are in for a wild ride. Welcome to the first flight of the AC battle plane. We've descended upon an ultimate test to determine the top species in this amazing franchise, in this incredible iteration. I've got my zoo hat on, not because these species belong in cages, but because it's about to be wild. What's going on, everybody? It's Zach from Space Heroes. Hope you're having a wonderful day. This is an exciting new series where I give you my pitch for the winner of this battle, and then you guys, I read your pitches, and then in the comments, you can vote for which pitch you think is the strongest and what side you're on. Today's very first battle is one that means a lot to me personally. It's best species, all right? So it's gonna be my vote versus all y'all's vote, and we're gonna find out who's the most loved species in AC. Now, whether you're a long-term fan of the franchise, someone who jumped in right when AC launched last March, or you just grabbed New Horizons for Christmas, your opinion is valid, your voice can be heard, and everything is everything. I'm not even really quite sure what that means, but we gotta take the glasses off and get down to business. I am ready to rock, because ostriches are where it's at. Cranston is quite possibly the best villager in the game. There's nothing quite like a tall bird. I mean, this species rises above, literally. They're the tallest in the game. They stand and dwarf the competition. Now, height isn't everything, but I think the fact that they're a little closer to the heavens above just dots them with some strange sense of magic. I also love the variety. You can't argue that, right? We got a lot of comments here from some YouTubers, from some subscribers, from some Discord members, everybody saying different things, but you cannot deny that the variety here is incredible, right? Cranston is a beautiful bird, but then you've got Julia, who's her own beautiful little peacock, and then you've got Flora, a little flamingo. You got Phoebe, fiery red, the colors, the variety. I mean, Judy's over here like, look, I got Lisa Frank colors, but Cranston's like, yes, but all y'all are basically the same dang thing. Cranston knows that when it comes to ostriches, they really represent a cavalcade of different creatures, plus the beaks, man. The beaks, man, you know what you can do with that beak? You can poke through the snow. You can poke through a rock, maybe get a gold nugget. You can poke your nose into Blathers Museum and say, Brewster, have you arrived yet? The tail, the beak, the little web feet, there's so much visual variety. And the color schemes, they're not just bleh with clothes. They're not just like pink with clothes or white with clothes. They all have so much nuance. And if we're gonna be honest with you, they're the closest villager I can get to worm culture. Now, I don't know why this is overcoming in 2021, but I'm fascinated by lowly. If you're not familiar with lowly, please do some research, educate yourself, become a better human. 2021 is all about growth, development, improvement. And if you're not understanding why lowly is magic and kind of just the most important thing right now. I think he's making a cultural comeback, at least in my head. Another thing about ostrich, they're tall. You and I, we could tango ostriches if you want a day. I'm talking about Queenie. I'm talking about Blanche. I'm talking about Gladys, even Sprocket. I don't know what's behind that suit. <laughs> but when it comes down to it, don't forget about Nindori. You might have Phil, which is, I mean, He's pretty cool, but he, if we're going to go lowest on the totem pole, it's Phil. But Nindori, man, how are you going to forget about the jack-o'-lantern fool with the GameCube shirt? Now, we do have a lot of interesting ideas, pitches, performances from people in the community. And I want to give you guys a voice, right? This isn't just about Zach's opinion is the rule. So make sure to listen and see who you think is... The jewel. I was going to say tool or fool, but look, we're, we're trying to spread positivity. 2021 is all about good vibes. Even these guys, Bo and Cranston, battle it and out, but they don't have to battle in the game. Even though Nintendo Talk is trying to start a little war here by saying deer are the best. Eric and Fauna, enough said. Now, Nintendo Talk, Patrick, the man with the Sheffery plan.
I like your commitment and consistency. You've been a fan of deer from the very beginning. I got to admit, the deer have some interesting looks. Eric and Fauna, they're, they're very nice. And even Bo with his droopy eyes. I mean, look, Cranston likes him. They got a similar color scheme. I can understand the appeal. But at the end of the day, I think the deer, they're just dopey. All right, Bo, I don't want to raid on your cute little musical parade, but have y'all seen Deirdre? Have you seen Fuchsia? Fuchsia is the girl that you don't want your son to ever get too close to because it's going to end in something terrible. It just is. Heartbreak or worse. Let's not forget Chelsea. Some of y'all may not know Chelsea because she's not in this game, but there's a reason she's not in this game. I don't know if Chelsea is a sheep that got busy with a deer and made some sort of monstrosity or if Chelsea is just a really, really K-pop inspired deer or somebody that's too in love with Easter. I mean, if you get close to Zipper, then we already have some concern. But look, Bruce, Diana, Lopez. I mean, we're talking about Zell. You got a top cream of the crop, Pat, and dear lovers. But once you get beyond, it's like, ugh. I don't know if I can, I don't know. I mean, again, Fuchsia. Gemma, Gemma, Gemma. Girl, what is wrong with you? Gemma says anteaters because someone has to love them. Okay, Gemma, I respect you a little for being the outlier and going with your gut, but are you crazy? Previously on Survivor New Horizons. Look, we've been trying to vote Snooty off since day one. She just won't go. It doesn't matter how much we complain, how many red flags we raise, nothing is working. I'm not proud of it, but I did resort to physical intimidation and still no luck. Snooty has to go. She has to. It's not a matter of if, but when. I'm so sick of Snooty. Get her off this island. You can't get rid of me that easily. This is my island. Have you seen what this species has done to me personally? Snooty came and eviscerated my conscience and my compassion and my calm for like a good two month session of this game. And their noses are so long. I mean, it's longer than I've played the game. We're talking about it just goes the distance. Hercules thought he was singing that about himself. I can go the distance, but it was actually about Antonio and Snooty. What is with you, Gemma? I can't. I, I mean, look, I love you. You're a member, you're a subscriber. You're over there in the UK. You know how much I like my British accents, and I try to improve upon them every day for people like you and try to make sure that I deliver the proper speeches when I give you my little bit of accent that I know isn't very nuanced. I know I'm missing some of the key features and focal points of this accent, but I got to say, Gemma, at this point, oh my gosh, cheese and crackers, biscuits and jam, crisps and crockets. What have you done? Anteaters? Gemma, that's just not very fun. My friend Shining Solace says wolves. They are stylish, beautiful, and amazing. Whitney is the best villager, and I'm not saying that because we share the same name. I sense some B-I-A-S, a little bit of a bias sauce in this soup sandwich, but I'll still entertain the idea, Whitney. Okay, if they bring Wolf Link back, which was the wolf inspired by Twilight Princess, then maybe we can talk, Whitney. But in the meantime, I don't know. I think you're just a little sensitive and a little soft because they got the same name, which is sweet, I understand. If there was, say, a frog named Zack, I might be all about it. Mar the Mermaid. Squirrels without a doubt. The way they wag their tails and they're talking to you is honestly the cutest thing ever, and I am a sucker for cuteness. I'm a sucker for little, little darling things, and I do have Marshall on my own. I think Marshall is actually a well-rated top-tier villager, but then I look and I say, Poppy, Warm in the heart. And I say, okay, Sally Sheldon static, but Silvana, man, you know how to get this thing going. And then I meet Ricky. And most importantly, I meet Nibbles. Are you seeing what I'm seeing? Look at this creature again. Notice the similarity between Fuchsia and Nibbles. It's the triple jam on the blonde banks, and you know they're up to no good. She's like, I promise I'll bring you the best nuts. And you're like, no, you're the nut, okay? You're the nut, and I cannot handle it. Nibbles is the kind of girl to take a freaking Sharpie and draw a circle on her face and be like, I love you, I promise. Nah, -uh. we're capping that and not gonna deal. I cannot deal with squirrels, the top species. Mint, look, I'd take a lick. But when you leave off people like Kit and you bring in people like Hazel, we're going to have problems. Browse for days, girls, ladies. I know that it is a lot to take care 
of those two caterpillars up top. But look, you cannot let them grow into a giant heart-shaped, elongated caterpillar. It's just not gonna work. Caroline, honestly kind of cute. Callie, looks like a bear. Blair, again with the triple stripe. What is this hairstyle? Y'all with the bangs, I'm watching you. I got my, I'm, I'm, I'm cautious. I'm being careful. I, I don't know what you're up to. Shukin comes in with a different idea, saying cats, because can you name one bad cat villager? No, you can't. This sounds like a challenge. Shukin, you've activated my challenge bone, and once that thing gets going, I can't be stopped. I mean, we start strong with Lolly, one of my personal favorites. She's popping that body all over the island, ensuring that the kitty cats start supreme. Anko, one of the best themed villagers in the game. I know a lot of people love Mary, but my friend Shukin, have you seen Monique? Monique proves your theory completely wrong, and I don't need to go any further. I've had Monique on my island, it ruined my life for a couple of days. Nightmares were pervasive, and I could not sleep. I had to go back to a baby bottle in order to find any sort of solace, respite, or relaxation. But then, you gotta think about somebody like Mo. Oh no, Mo and Mitzi. Dear goodness, I mean, Mitzi's got a face that says, I've seen stuff. She might be cute on the outside, but I'm darn sure that in her past, oh my god. Diamond Goddess 14 says frogs because they are so adorable and so fun and their names also really cute. My favorite frog is Lily. Their little feet and ears are so cute and they have such great dialogues and they are so small. I think you're overcompensating. You're giving me so many criteria here, Diamond Goddess. So I'm gonna have to look through the almanac and see. Ward Jr. starting off ridiculously awesome. This is a throwback and callback to the bad guy from Super Mario Bros. 2, which is one of the most unsung Mario games and one of the best secret villains in Nintendo that nobody talks about. And I do like guys like Tad, Ribot. Okay, I like Frobert. But then we got some people like Jambet. And then we got some people like Prince. And you say, what is happening with their mouths? Lily, you're right. She's cute. Them big eyes up top like ears, but they can see. That's a terrifying thought. Imagine if you had four of them. Two in the front, two on the side. Whoa. Well, ears or eyes. Either way, it would be a terrifying sight. You could hear four times or see four times. Seeing with that peripheral vision, my goodness gracious, you could stop all incoming threats. You'd be ready to fend off all that talk of no new updates in 2021 and say... We're getting that Brewster. I know it's coming my way. I also like to look at Rattle. And Diva. <laughs> have I made myself clear? Geo424 says, I was never a Penguin fan, but now that it is winter, I have 10 Penguin villagers in this wonderful. This is commitment. And I question, is this a top crop species if this person has a full island? That's 10. That's dedication station. They arrived and they were like, chugga chugga, I'm on board. And they drank the penguin Kool-Aid. You know, we have some cute ones like Roal. I know people all about cute, but I'm looking at somebody like Igly and I say, okay. But then I move to Puck and I'm like, okay, this guy falls over and tumbles so much he's got a hat. And he's got a big N on his sweatshirt, which stands for, nah, -uh, this can't be the top crop. Hopper, my friends, Hopper. Dude, Hopper looks like if your angry dad was in the game. Y'all that have that dad that just gets on your nerves and maybe spends too much time in the garage, that's Hopper. Boomer. Really? Bombs away. I'm the pilot here. I run this ship. I'm not going to let that be taken from me. They missed out by not including analog. That's where we could have turned the tides. Aurora, kind of okay. Honestly, the penguin species, I don't have that many bad things to say about them. I honestly think they're pretty nice. They're decent. They're solid. But nobody stands out as like, wow. And I know some of you might say that Cube is the one that does it for you. And Cube is okay. He's got those little button eyes. But I think Cube belongs in Toy Story, not Animal Crossing. In fact, I'm not even sure he's real. Perhaps he belongs in the same grouping as Zipper T. Bunny, where it's actually a suit. And there's something small and nefarious inside. You ever seen the aliens at 333? Well, just wait. Because once they come for you, they're coming for me. And they're probably coming for Cube and Zipper too. Well, my lovely AC fanatics, you've heard my pitch. You've heard the pitch of the people. Where do you fall? Let me know in the comments down below whose pitch you like the most. What you think about the different species and who your favorite species is. Who do you push for in this Animal Crossing battle? I gotta rep my villager crew. The ostrich in blue and white and pink too. But I want to hear from you. So let me know in the comments down below. Hit that like when you enjoyed the video. Have a fantastic, safe, wonderful, happy, healthy day out there. I love you a lot. Until next time, Switch Force out.